He loves puzzles. He loves art. And he loves to see people have a good time. He's a little bit inventor, a little bit philosopher, and a whole lot innovative. He is Adrian Fisher, and this is his idea of fun. I love designing mazes of all kinds in lots of different materials. Um, I've, I've been now running my maze designing work for about 25 years and created about 450 mazes all over the world. Adrian Fisher is the maze master. He can put them anywhere. I had a girl from Washington, D.C. who wanted me to design a tattoo, which was to be put on some intimate part of her person. And I said, I'm not sure I could do that because I always like to personally inspect all my handiwork. <laughs> <laughs> that deal fell through, which is my great relief. <laughs> well, almost anywhere. And he can use almost anything to build them. Shrubbery, mirrors, water, bricks, you name it. He's done it. But no matter the material, the outcome is always the same. Spectacular fun. But it's fun when the whole family has a different... Well, what about trying this now? What about the... So the consensus, of course, it, it creates a wonderfully haphazard effect. So... Well, we're not sticking to the left all it. No, we're not. We're having fun. Let's try it. You know, end result, everyone gets hopelessly lost. Great fun. Speaking of getting lost, what happens when you can't find your way out of one of these monster mazes? Sometimes we, 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 we have very large corn mazes and we do, uh, you know, say to them, you know, if you want to wave your flag in a particular way, we'll rescue you. Um, you know, and you have a plenty of kids, kids, you know, sort of desperately have had enough and they're getting a bit thirsty, and, you know. But... Uh, no, I mean, normally the part of the design skill is to know your general like, type of visitor to a particular place, and you design it so you know, almost everybody finishes before they've had enough. Whew. That's good to know, because this maze master can really confuse a guy. I started off building hedge mazes for historic castles and palaces and chateaus in Britain and across Europe. Uh, beyond that, mazes made out of wooden fence panels uh, in bricks uh, laid in the grasses brick paths in the grass or complete terraces of brick paving solid, um, turf mazes themselves, mazes with rows of fountains where the walls of water jump up and down. So you have the dimension of time. Uh, the, I designed the world's first ever corn maze. I uh, really pioneered the modern movement of mirror mazes. I mean, our, our mirror mazes are sensational, giant scale, and uh, using effects that have never been attempted before. Uh, you know, often to tremendous effect. They're very deceptive. You haven't a clue where you are. You really are completely confused. Well, there's no confusion about one thing. This guy is truly amazing. OK, Victor and Kathy, I couldn't resist. But he's got a string of Guinness World Records and a slew of satisfied customers all over the world. So how did Adrian Fisher get started? Well, he built his first hedge maze in his father's garden. Then he met a priest who built a maze from heaven. Where's the pool garden? I met a, a priest who had a dream of a maze, and he, an angel told him in this dream to create this maze around the tree in his uh, rectory garden, and he did. And for 30 years, this was part of his mission. Uh, his, his, his ministry was to um, use the maze, and it would tell people about the path of life and the choices they made. Now, how's that for inspiration? And then I thought, I really want to create one or two, and, and then another. And one thing got out of hand and another, and I found myself working full time at this, and, uh, and it just kept going, really. While trying to master one of these giant puzzles is a whole lot of fun, building one is a whole different ball game. And you agonize about every single twist and turn, because what you plant, you know it's going to be in the landscape for two, three hundred years, and it's going to be the perfect way to squeeze the maximum puzzle into a given space. Adrian has written several books on mazes, beginning with The Art of the Maze and then The Secrets of the Maze, which sold 35,000 copies in its first 11 weeks. He has a staff of 14 people based in Dorset, England, and eight international associates. He's appointed his wife, who's a businesswoman in her own right, as firm director. Yes, Adrian is a smart man. And his five-year-old son, Wilfred, well, let's just say he's king of the hill. I asked Adrian the puzzling question of why do you do this year after year? It's wonderful. I mean, you get to travel the world, meet interesting people, eat fine food, and, um, and you know also you're having an influence on the lives of millions of families. OK, maybe I'm in the wrong profession. But seriously, Adrian Fisher builds mazes for really one reason. And this fast-paced, crazy world we live in, which is a stressful maze all in itself, we need a puzzle that has a happy ending. It's, I think it is a celebration of the important things in life. I think it's 
That's what we need a bit more of. A bit less sitting in traffic jams and <laughs> sitting on roads and sitting in car seats and sitting in front of television screens and sitting in front of computer screens. And, you know, I, I think that's glorious.